Good day buddies. I'm happy to have you here. In today's video, we will be dealing with mites. I will show you how I control them. And we will also turn a dead terrarium, into a lush greenery, again. Then introduced our polyrachis colony into it, and you will not guess why they needed, a new look set up right now. But one thing for sure. It's not because of the mites. Anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're also, welcome, to, D Colony. A lot have happened to the colony since the move, several months ago. They've grown so much, and the nest they constructed shown on our previous episode is now fully occupied I guessed. Cause a lot of workers, and broods are stationed now on the ground just below the nest, and some on the base of the driftwood. So I gave them dried moss, and twigs that I glued together to use on their nest expansion. Anyway, there's always a time, that we need to leave our pet and colonies for a couple of days. Like this question from our buddy Dreedrop. He commented. Hey D colony, I have a question. What if you have to leave your house for days, and no one will be in your house? What will you do, so the ants won't die out of hunger? Are you gonna put a lot of food, and water? And I answered. To be honest buddy, I do leave them a lot of foods, when I'm gonna out for several days. Make sure they will have enough supply of water. But be careful on offering too much insects, which may cause mites infestation later on. If a prolonged untouched. The best food you could give them are those who doesn't spoil easily, like protein jelly cups. Dry food or dried insects, or seeds, it still depends on what your colony would accept. I hope our buddy Dreedrop will be able to watch this, cause I will show you some outcome, on my answer. And some actions we can do to make it better. So, I went on a trip for a couple of days, several months ago. And I left my colony with lots of food, including this ever voracious Polyrachis colony. I gave them honey, roaches, and dried mealworms. That I think is enough until I return home. I don't gave them protein jellies and seeds since they don't like those. It may happen few weeks after returning home. You might observe some colony will lost their appetite. Or soon mites population explosion. Like what happened to our featured colony. My Polyrachis dives experienced, and survive mites infestation once before. Cause I overfed them whenever I leave. And it happens again on my recent trip, though their case now is not that severe. Since I only, collected three ants with obvious mites on them, and this one, got the most. Mites infestation is likely to happen when your terrarium got a lot of food, or leftovers that didn't get consumed, or cleaned on time. Mites will feast on them, that will end up in booming population. Even beneficial mites can be nuisance, or in the worst case, dangerous to our colony. If their numbers get out of control. Luckily, this are not parasitic mites. So we're not covering on how to get rid of those kind of mites, using formic acid, or predatory mites method, as they will make this video longer. Anyway, these are phoretic mites, who usually hitch a ride on insects to look for food, or to find better place to live. Since the terrarium got a little dry, and mites needs moisture to survive. But unfortunately, this worker cannot bring them anywhere, cause both of them are trapped in the terrarium. So we're doing it for them. And some of you may tell, why you need to remove them if they're not harmful to the colony. As you can see, they don't look good. And at this rate, this beneficial mites became harmful. As it bothering the poor ant too much. And if left untreated, this worker will die, out of hunger. Cause she will not be able to drink, nor eat on her current condition. So let's go, and get rid of the problem. We can just soak the ant in water for 10 seconds, to several minutes and most of the mites will jump off. Then quarantine the ant to a sanitized pot with soil for about 10 to 30 minutes, 
and all theoretic mites will jump off. We can now return this revitalized worker back to its colony. After helping the infected ants, now we need to put the mites number on the ant farm in control. Cause no one wants mites infestation. So, we're adding some of this guys on the setup. Anyway, these are from our pet isopods colony. I didn't introduce any isopods on the setup, the time we build it, cause I really wanted to try this new, and bigger species of isopod that we have, on this ant farm. What they did, that I will tell you later buddies was, unexpected. Anyway, isopods will help us on mite problems by simply competing with the mites on food, like what the springtails do. But this isopods are so voracious, and I'm sure the mites will have limited food access, with the presence of our new friends. Aside from competing in food, isopods will also feed on mites eggs. Which will, greatly reduced mites reproduction. It's all going well, some of the isopods can't even wait for the ants left over. And eat on the sidelines while the ants are having their meals. All my other bioactive tanks with isopods never got a problem with mites for years and years. I believe this polyrachis setup will also be put under control by our great friends, in their micro, natural way. I know mites will not be completely gone, but they will stay in healthy numbers, that will benefit the whole terrarium ecosystem as well. But what the isopods did in the following weeks, was unexpected. They managed to kill the plants, in a way that I don't know. But they started dying few days after the isopods introduction. It's maybe their digging power, cause even the ants liquid feeders, fall down to the ground. And it's annoying to always fix them, every hour. So, I decided to take this giant isopods out, and turn this dead, terrarium into an ant farm with lush greenery, again. Cause I really want a bioactive ant farm for this colony. I removed some substrate, and added new fresh layer, using mix leaf litters with cork barks, dried moss, and cocoa peat. I also added some decorative rocks, before introducing new plants. And just after a couple of months, this is what it looks now. We can hardly notice the decorative rocks since the creeping Charlie, is growing vigorously. The tea plants at the back had a little growth, but I'm expecting them to be at least 8 inches high in this setup. I also replaced the driftwood with a new one. With more, branches to accommodate more ants nest soon. This terrarium is definitely ready for the return of the colony. So I connected their setup again. I admired the ants, as they're meticulously exploring every part of their new home. As usual they take a lot of time before moving in. But it's a relief when I saw one of the queen to move in, after a long, long wait. And like the old times, they nest temporarily on the lower part of the driftwood. They even dig a shallow chamber, to pile their broods in. And group some leaf litters, but they didn't start to weave a proper one yet as they look like to nest on the driftwoods base for now. As all of the broods being carried by the workers, goes on that direction. And of course, I didn't miss the cleanup crews. I added them here, after the plants settled in. We have both the springtails, and isopods, as they were essential part of a healthy terrarium. Though I decided to use the smaller species of isopod, which I normally use on my other bioactive setups. As they were the best isopods for ant farms in my opinion. And again, 
I offered the colony this twigs I glued together for a better nest foundation. Let me put it here. But later on, I decided to transfer it to the top of the driftwood. And added more moss for the ants construction material. I hope I can film their nest weaving again soon, for their update in the future. Before ending this video, I would like to give, Angie Aldea, a big shout out. I hope I pronounced your name right buddy. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish in tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye. For now but hoping to see you on my next videos.